Hi, I'm Matthew Tosh. Junk Food Science is all about understanding the science linking health with diet and inspiring discussion about ways of improving the nation's eating habits. The context for the Junk Food Science News Report lesson is set by a spoof TV news report about a fictional organisation called the British Institute of Eating Control, the BIEC, which is planning to ban anyone under the age of 16 from eating certain foods deemed unhealthy. You can find this video and many other resources to help deliver this lesson at the address on the screen. The news report lesson involves a range of discussion-based learning activities to engage students in thinking about the issues of food and healthy eating. Here we see Dan Hannard, a physics teacher at Woodkirk High School near Wakefield, running the lesson with his Year 8 students. So what do we think the British Institute of Eating Control might be in charge of? Is it like when they check that all, like they don't add anything that might be bad for you or anything that might have a bad effect on you or stuff like that? Well, a great idea, yeah, okay. Dan chooses to use a whole class approach, but it would also work by encouraging students to discuss in pairs or small groups before asking a spokesperson to feed back. Dan plays the news report and students record the arguments presented in the video. They discuss these in small groups, groups of three are ideal, and they can use the agenda provided on the sample slides. They've all got different opinions because like, the cooks think it's good but it'll be hard to control, but the pupils think they'll get addicted because they're not getting the sugary foods and, and stuff. And like the parents think that when they get older they'll just want to eat more of it because they weren't allowed when they were a child, so there's no point in banning it because they'll only catch up with it when they get older. Like the parents said, they're just going to try and smuggle it in like they do with most things, the parent gets a fine. The kid does it again and again. The and there'll be loads of parents out. complaining. Does everybody who's interviewed agree with what the BIEC is saying? And the pupils, they think it's like good and bad because it is hard to like stop eating the stuff you like. But it would be good because it'd like lower the obesity rate and everything. Now on to the next activity where students work in groups discussing the arguments for and against the ban. They summarise the arguments on a table and are asked to identify which arguments are based on fact and which are based on opinion. You may need to clarify the definitions of fact and opinion before they begin the activity. It's really bad for health and stuff and you've got obesity it gives you a higher chance of certain cancers and death. So is that a fact or is that an opinion? Um, a fact. It's a fact, yeah. If you're obese, you're at a higher risk of certain cancers. So that's certainly something you could put down in the four column and highlight it as a fact. You said most of the nation will become fat by 2050 if we don't ban junk food from the 16th. Is junk food the main cause of obesity in this country? And it could be from your parents, it could be like fat and then you could inherit it off them. So do you mean inherited genetically that you are predisposed to putting yeah. on weight? The students discuss the effect the ban would have on different people and are required to make a group decision about whether or not they agree with the ban. What effect do we think this ban would have on young people like yourselves, people under 16? What would be the effects of this ban if it were introduced? It might give people like more of an idea of like what junk food does to you like and people actually see the consequences of having it because obviously they won't get as fat from it. Families that don't necessarily have enough time, so um, like when the parents have, have a work full time and stuff like that, um, they normally have to use these quick prepared meals. And if you ban them to under 16, then you're going to end up being sort of stuck. We've recognised that obesity amongst young people is an increasing problem. We've seen the facts on that, okay? And we've seen the consequences of obesity in that video, things like increased risk of diabetes, heart disease, certain cancers. But what are the alternatives? If we don't ban junk food from the 16s, what should we do instead? They could exercise more. Yeah, instead of like banning so many foods, they could ban some, but then 
do, do other things instead. Like, like do exercise. like free sports and stuff out of yeah, like, school. Yeah, like, like decrease prices in like, yeah. in, like swimming sessions free and stuff. swimming and stuff. Yeah. But they could also like have like whether they improve awareness about like the healthy eating. Yeah. So yeah. they know more about like what they need because they can't just ban fat because people actually do need fat. Yeah. Like some people need more fat than others. Yeah. Dan encourages students to share their ideas with the whole class. At the end of the lesson, the students vote on the BIEC's proposal. They could also vote on the alternatives suggested by different groups. So, show me your pages now, please. Green for yes, we should ban junk food for under 16s. Red, we should not. Okay. Oh, we're not sure, we're in between. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's quite unanimous here. Okay. I found that people were very engaged. It was something that really affected, they felt really affected them, this idea they all enjoy eating junk food, but they all have an understanding that, you know, there's some sort of element of a, a, a risk to health or there's some foods that are bad, some foods that are good. And uh, it was nice to see the students linking in with more scientific ideas. So they were linking in ideas about exercise and activity, linking in ideas about genetic predisposition towards certain body types and uh, that sort of thing as well. And it was quite nice to look at ideas about balanced diet because a couple of the students in the video said, oh, you need junk food as a balanced diet. So we, I was able to explore that with a few groups. It really looked at what we mean by a balanced diet rather than just oh, a little bit of everything. I think the junk food science is uh, quite an interesting topic for the students, but it also fits in nicely with the curriculum in different areas as well. So it was, it was quite a good choice of topic to be producing resources on.